This is Community Connection. Thanks for joining us on today's Community Connection. I'm Jason Laird, joined by Sandy with the Great Falls YWCA, and we have empty bowls coming up. Tell we me all do. about what that is. September 21st will be another empty bowls that we bring to the community, along with all of our partners that are artists in the community. We have so many different bowls. I brought two of yeah, them with me today. Quite a variety, you know. Yes, everyone assumes that they're all um, hand-thrown pottery bowls, right. but we also have wooden bowls. We, um, most of them are pottery, and we have some of the most wonderful artists in the community, and they all donate bowls to mm -hmm. the YWCA to support our Mercy Home, right. the shelter for women and children right. that have been affected by violence. And we celebrate this day to bring the, the issues of hunger to the community right. and help welcome everyone in the community to, to be able to support them with us. Right. So it will be at the Great Falls College MSU in Heritage Hall. And you can come anytime between 11 and 1 in the afternoon okay. and have a hot bowl of delicious soup, right bread on. and dessert. We'll have music. We'll Very have flowers. Cool. And, and talk a little bit about some of the more creative bowls you've seen over the years. I'm sure they oh, get pretty elaborate at They times, do. Though. Ones like this that have different right. glazes See, that's super are just beautiful. Cool. And, and like we were beautiful. saying before the interview, too, I mean, no two bowls are going to be the same. No. So quite a variety of things that you can find there. Every, every color of glaze that you can imagine, every shape. Some are smaller, some are larger, some have lips on them. Right. And they don't just have to be soup bowls. Okay. Some can be used in, in other rooms for potpourri or um, other items, so right. even on desks. There you so. go. And, and staying on the topic of soup, have you decided what kind of soup is going to be served at the event? Yes. Okay. We, we have doing? JJ's Bakery making Ooh. our soup, Fantastic. which is wonderful. We will have a gluten-free. Okay. We will have a vegetarian. Okay. And... We will also have the lobster bisque. There you go. So that's, that's going to be a crowd winner right <laughs> yes, there. Yes, it I'm usually sure. is. Right. And talk a little bit about the importance of having an event like this for the YWCA. It really is an important support to us within the YWCA. It's something that we've been doing for many years mm -hmm. and 20 plus. Right. And it's a big part of our budget. It raises a lot of money with the support of sponsors such as First Interstate Bank. Okay. And that helps us put the event on. And then all of it's $25 okay. for a ticket to the event. And you can just drop in and eat your soup, Fantastic. pick your bowl, and leave. It's a very simple, fun event. And real quick, we've got about a 50 seconds or so left. It, can folks still donate bowls? Yes, they can. Okay. Right up until the event, okay. just bring them to the YWCA, which is at 220 2nd Street North, and we would love to have new bowls. There you go. Of course, Judy Erickson started this event, right? and she will have bowls there too. Fantastic. So the competition's on, right? So it again, is. Uh, for over 20 years, it sounds like, yes. the Empty Bowls has been going on, all with the goal of helping out the YWCA here in Great Falls. So quite a variety of bowls. We've got soup, bread, dessert, the whole nine yards, music, and of course, uh, just a good, fun, wholesome event to come out and check out. So hope yes. to see all of you there. Thank Perfect. you. Thanks, Sandy, for coming in. And again, all the details will be on your screen.